In this video, I'll go over setting up notifications using Pushover on a Synology NAS. Pushover is a platform that allows you to send push notifications from an application to a receiving device. In the case of this video, I'll set up Pushover to send notifications generated by my Synology NAS to my iPhone that has the Pushover app installed and configured. I also referenced this excellent guide by Black Void which helped me understand the various ways to set up pushover on a Synology NAS, and I'll leave a link to the guide in the description below. To begin, I've already installed the pushover app on my iPhone, and when I launch the app, I come to this window here. I'll click on Create Account, and from this new window, I'll enter in the email address and password I'd like to use with pushover, then click Create Account. I'll then give my iPhone a name for pushover to use, then click Add Device. At this point, my iPhone is ready to receive notifications and I'm all set for the 30-day trial that Pushover provides. Note that after the 30-day free trial, if you would like to continue to use Pushover, you would need to make a $5 one-time purchase for each platform you would like to use Pushover on. So in my case, if I would like to use Pushover only on my iPhone, I'd purchase the $5 iOS license. Other platforms you can purchase licenses for are Android and for desktop. Now with my Pushover account created, I'll bring up the Pushover email address that was sent to my inbox and click on the Verify Your Email Address link, which launches this web page here in my browser. I'll go ahead and log in to bring up my Pushover dashboard that provides details about my account. Next, I'll get started setting up Pushover notifications and the first way I'll set things up is by using the email address provided by Pushover. I'll copy the email address that is assigned to my account, then switch over to DSM. I'll then bring up Control Panel, then Notification. Here, I'll enable email notifications and paste in the email address that I copied to my clipboard earlier. Next, I'll set up Gmail as the service provider I'd like to use by signing into my Gmail account. Once everything is set up, I'll click on the Send a Test Email button, which generates a pushover notification on my iPhone that I have displayed here on screen. The second way I'll go over setting up notifications is by setting up pushover as a SMS provider using the pushover API. I'll first disable email notifications, then switch over to the SMS tab and enable SMS notifications. I'll then click on the Add SMS Service Provider button, which brings up this Add SMS Service Provider window. I'll then enter in a provider name I'd like to use, then switch over to the Pushover website, click on this API link, and copy this URL here. I'll switch back to DSM and paste the link into the SMS URL box that is provided. For HTTP method, I'll select Post, then click Next, and Next once again, on this Edit HTTP Request Header window. On this HTTP Request Body window, I'll add in the user, token, phone, and message parameters, of which only the message parameter requires a value, then I'll click Next. Now I'll link those parameters to the categories they should be linked to and click Done. Now I'll switch over to the Pushover website once again bring up my account information and click on the create an application slash API token link under the your application section of the page. This brings up this create new application slash token page where I'll enter in a name, check the box that I agree to the terms of service and click create application. Next, from this applications page, I'll copy the API token. I'll then switch back to DSM and paste the API token into the password and confirm password boxes. Next, I'll switch back to the Pushover website to copy my user key, which is found on the main account information page. Then, back in DSM, I'll paste the user key into the username box. Next, I'll enter in the primary phone number, which can be anything because the phone number, while required, isn't used in this setup. Lastly, I'll click Apply to complete the setup. Now I'll click on Send a Test SMS Message, and I receive this pushover notification on my iPhone, which you see listed here on screen. 
At this point, you may want to navigate to the Rules tab to customize what events should be sent through Pushover. By default, warning level events get sent to email and critical level events are sent to both email and SMS. So, for example, you may want to set up your normal email address to receive the warning events and have Pushover set up through SMS to alert you of critical events so you know that Pushover notifications you receive should be handled with more urgency. To learn more about setting up email notifications, you may want to check out this video listed here on screen. And if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.